Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Aaron Piggy versus Kashimo, and this is going to be another Iron Man video. This is round two of the Iron Man now. Uh, we have Team JNC versus Team The Vault. Team JNC got a round one bye since they won the last Iron Man tournament. You know, shout out to my team. Uh, make sure to go ahead and check out Team JNC, link down below in the description for their YouTube channel, and also make sure to check out Team Interstellar because they're the ones who hosted this Iron Man tournament, but this is round two. Uh, we will see Aaron Piggy win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they'll decide to go first. 41 versus 40. Opening hands, we have Imperm, Bonfire, Crossout, Oak, Ash Blossom. They have Samsara, D Lotus, Valor, Engraver, Spirit of U Bell, and Lurry. And also, we got Cam the Man Neil over here trying to peep the goo. Uh, but okay, we're going to go first. Activate Bonfire, search out Poplar, and then activate Poplar effect. Special summon out, and then Poplar effect to go search. Uh, they're thinking if they want to Valor this or not. Um, they said okay, so go ahead grab out the Divine Temple, activate Divine Temple, play Snake Eye Eye Bell Star, make Anima, Normal Oak, effect a special back out Poplar, and then they said okay, so special out Poplar, and then now use Anima plus Poplar to go in the Moon, Poplar effect, spell Trap Zone itself, and then Moon into Requiem, Requiem effect, Tribute, bring out the Engraver, uh, Oak effect, send itself plus Poplar, special out Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Ash effect to go search, okay, we're gonna grab out Oak, yeah, just follow up, sure, Snake Eye Bell Star, special spell Trap Zone Poplar, and then we have Snake Eye Ash, send itself plus Poplar, yeah, because I was thinking that we were just gonna leave one in the back, um, but I guess we don't need to, right, because we have Cross Out, so there's no point of us trying to, like, play around Nib when we're at the point, uh, to where, like, you know, we just beat Nib with Crosso. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and make Sequins. Uh, Flame Bridge effect, special back out two from the graveyard. Uh, bring out the Ash Oak and then Sequins effect to go Fuse. Uh, they said Thinking here because uh, they could go into Desiree or they could go into DDD, but it's probably just Desiree, right? They're going to go ahead, shuffle back three, bring out Desiree and then Sequins plus Snake Eye Ash and the Promethean. Sequence effect to equip the Desiree. Promethean, the special back out from the graveyard. And then they're once again thinking if they want to stop that. Okay, chooses the Valor it. And then they're just going to chain cross out. Banish Valor to shut that down. Special out Flame Burge. Desiree to negate the Promethean. Make IP. And then turn those two into Silhouette Rabbit. Silhouette Rabbit to go ahead set Angel Statue. Flame Burge to spell Trap Zone IP. Set Imperm. Pass. So. We have Angel Statue with the Rabbit Pop, we have Imperm, we have Ash, we have Flame Bridge in the IP, we have Desiree Negate, we have Promethean Princess, and then we have a very good amount of follow-up. Uh, we have Original to search off our Poplar too, uh, which is, actually isn't like that great um, realistically because we already have Oak in hand, but you know, at least it's another card that you'll have. Uh, they draw Imperm, then they're going to go Battle, and then yeah, they just say sure, and then they just submit the feet because they're trying to bluff them. Uh, now we will see the U-Bell player go first this game. We have Imperm, Original, Molcharmy, Engraver, Divine Temple. They have Samsara, Molcharmy, Throne, Terraform, and Lurie. So this is probably just for cross out. Um, but they didn't draw it. And then they drew Double Throne there, which like kind of sucks. But at least you see Throne. That card's insane. So drop Molcharmy. And then they're going to go Nightmare Throne, Destroy Spirit, Spirit Effect, a special out U-Bell. And then we're going to shuffle back. Uh, or wait, they said thinking here. Okay, we're gonna go normal Luri. They draw on the Black Witch, and then go up in the Requiem. Uh, shuffle back Samsara plus Spirit to bring out the Phantom of Ubel. Requiem effect tribute, bring out Engraver. Okay, uh, then we're gonna go Engraver plus Ubel into Sequence. Sequence effect, get hit with Imperm. And that is just like insane. Uh, they're gonna shuffle back Special Out Engraver. They still have Yama. Uh, and they have terraforming that they could set. Yama, grab out the Shavara. Okay. And uh, we're going to go set terraforming. Shavara, pop, special. They draw into Snake Eye Eye Bellstar. Then go into Solar Rage. Shavara, effect to go set. And then it's going to set the escape. Yep. Uh, people have realized that, like, in this format, you just play double Yama and escape. And, like, I think, that, I think that's the best way to play it, to be honest. Uh, I don't think Chamber's the best anymore. I think it was way better before. Uh, we draw Snake Eye Ash, and then, okay, uh, it kind of sucks that we drew, like, Original plus Black Witch, also we drew Divine Temple, also we drew Snake Eye Bell Star, uh, so there's, like, a lot of downsides to this hand, but we're gonna go Normal Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Ash Effect, 
and then they said okay grab out poplar and then poplar effect the special summon out uh they said thinking on that now we're gonna phantom to stop it destroy spirit and then spirit effect goes summon bring out you bell uh snake eye ash into anima and then anima effect to try to go take chain the escape to go pop and the new chain link we have the solar rage plus yama uh so yama summon out the solar rage add back spirit to the hand yep that's fine uh then from here they're gonna pop you bell with the yama okay and yeah they made yama chain link one uh, so this won't miss timing because it is a win effect and then you bell one nightmare throne two so we're gonna put back a phantom and then bring out the tear incarnate okay that's fine well you know also getting the put back phantom that's really good because uh, now we still have two in our extra deck instead of just one uh so now uh they are big thinking here they're gonna go summon black witch discard poplar black witch effect just black witch go ahead and set the wanted poster uh then anything here uh they're gonna go solar rage and say they don't do anything here i mean we could also just say battle uh to try to force it out so they're gonna go ahead and make sp and then sp effect to go banish uh thinking on what they want to banish like do you want to banish wanted that doesn't really do anything or do you banish something from grave that doesn't really do a whole lot like you could banish snake eye ash but i was gonna say if they get the oak they're just gonna summon it back and that's most likely their way to flame burge uh now we're gonna go engraver discard grab out tracked okay i was gonna say the only way it's not their way to it is if they go like fiendsmith in the nightmare phoenix discard flame burge uh but now yeah search out the tracked activate tracked add lurry and then discard the lurry lurry effect special summon out and now this is uh honestly like pretty easy to clean up on i uh, go up in the requiem requiem effect tribute to go special uh and then yeah they're saying think here i'm gonna say i think they're just bluffing right there's no way you're gonna ever like chain sp uh because you need them to go to battle to beat over like you honestly need this uh spirit effect to special summon out and then spirit effect to go ahead and search it doesn't activate from deck it only sets from deck so they can't activate it there and then have them attack into a ubo uh so now they're gonna go ahead and attack over the sp okay uh now main phase two we will go activate divine temple uh play snake at eye bell star from hand snake at eye bell star special spell trap zone poplar original send poplar bring out oak and then we're gonna go oak chain link one poplar chain link two special out poplar spell trap zone snake eye ash uh, we don't play a second target to search off pop at least not post side uh into game two when we're going second uh we're gonna go ahead send bring out flame burge and then requiem effect to equip to the engraver uh then we can use the effect to send this a bit faster please said all good just a bit faster flame bridge effect the spell trap zone the spirit of you bell uh then we're going to go into necro quip princess uh link off in tahita and then flame bridge effect the special back out two bodies from the graveyard sure they have shivara engraved for the hita so hita effect go take shivara and then overlay make the ddd uh-huh uh then engraver effect to special by shuffling back requiem now link off into sequence and then sequence effect to go ahead and shuffle back the engraver lurry engraver bring out desiree uh hita plus sequence and the promethean and then we have sequence effect that can equip but we're gonna go princess summon flame bird sequence equip sure now oak plus promethean into raging and then raging plus snake at eyeball star into sp sp effect banish tear incarnate and then pass turn so that's pretty solid uh the flame bridge isn't doing like a whole lot all it's gonna do is like take spirit if we want it uh but pass i mean it is like the prime promethean princess target though for the follow-up uh they draw nightmare throne so that's the third nightmare throne they've seen this game activate nightmare throne and then they're thinking in response they're gonna go ahead desiree to negate and then yep just ggs ggs because they knew there was nightmare pain in hand so their last card would need to work with that and like they do have engraver live sure but we just ddd negate that and that's never gonna come out uh so the last card needs to be able to beat sp uh promethean plus one ddd negate which is gonna be like really hard to do because it needs to not just like like play through it it needs to like actually win through it too because we're gonna have a lot of follow-up 
Um, so GG, GG's next account is the same name. Okay, so Aaron Piggy versus Kashimo again. Aaron Piggy wins the rock, paper, scissors shoot again. So has to go first. 41 versus 40. We have Ash Blossom, Wanted, Valor, Poplar, Black Witch. They have Sword Knight, uh, Gazelle, Nightmare Apprentice, Talents, and Track. Oh, that hand going first would have been FTK. Auto win the game. Uh, but now we're going to go activate Wanted, go search out Snake at Eye Bellstar, and then Special Out Black Witch, discard Snake at Eye Bellstar, Black Witch, go ahead, set Original, Normal Poplar, Effect, grab out Divine Temple, <clears throat> activate Divine Temple, play Snake Eye Ash, and then we're thinking here, yeah, a little, a little misclick, <laughs> yeah, go ahead, make Moon, and then Poplar Effect, Spell Trap Zone, Snake at Eye Bellstar, and then Moon in the Requiem, Requiem effect, tribute, go bring out the engraver. Uh, then we're going to go Snake at Eye Bell Star, special spell trap zone poplar, link off into sequence, sequence effect, shuffle back the moon, requiem, engraver, and then bring out Desiree. Okay, original send Snake Eye Ash, bring out Oak, and then Oak effect to special back out the Snake Eye Ash. Snake Eye Ash effect, go ahead, search out Oak from the deck to the hand. Snake Eye Ash on itself plus Poplar, bring out Flame Burge, and then we can go Flame Burge Sequence in the Promethean, Flame Burge Effect, a special back out from the graveyard, just absolutely praying that the opponent doesn't have Nib, uh, Promethean, Summon Flame Burge, Sequence Effect to equip to the Desiree, and then Link Off in the Raging Phoenix, uh, Link Off into IP Mascarena, uh, then Link Off in the Silhouette Rabbit, Silhouette Rabbit Effect, we'll go ahead and set the Angel Statue, Flame Bird, Spell Trap Zone IP, Wanted, Put Back, Draw, and then that draws into a Imperm, Set Imperm, Pass. No shuffle on the hand, by the way, when we set Imperm. Uh, but yeah, just go ahead, pass turn. So once again, I mean, we have Imperm, Valor, Ash, Angel Statue with Rabbit, Flame Bird, IP, Desiree, Promethean, and Grave. So very strong in board once again. They draw a Droplet for turn, though. Okay, so that is a draw. That can definitely help break a board. They're going to go activate Tract, uh, grab Lurie, and then discard Lurie, Lurie effect, special summon out from the grave. Okay. Uh, then anything here, they're going to go Angel Statue, so that way they can negate the summon of Requiem. Uh, then they're going to go Normal Gazelle, Gazelle effect to go search. Uh, they're going to Imperm Gazelle. In response, Chain Forbidden Droplet, sending one, and then shut down Desiree, go search out Chimera Fusion. Yeah, now uh, they have Talon Slot. Is it anything on res? Nope. Okay, so activate Chimera Fusion. Use Lurie plus Sword Knight to go into Burfomit. And then Burfomit Effect to go dump. Uh, then they chain Valor on that to shut that down, which is just tough when your opponent has like a full end board and then they start slamming the non engine on you. Uh, especially like the Ash, too. Like that's going to hurt. Uh, so now they're thinking on what they should do with talents. They're going to go talents to draw, get hit with Ash Blossom, and that's the next game. So on to game number two now. We'll go ahead and see Kashimo go first. We have Mulcharmy, Wanted, Bonfire, Ash Blossom, Engraver. Solid. They have Edgent, Polly, uh, the Diabolical, uh, Diabolica, uh, Nightmare Apprentice, and then Engraver. So drop Mulcharmy. Then they're going to go Engraver Effect, grab out Tract. Uh, activate tract and then try to add discard but I was gonna say they're thinking on that uh, but nope so that's fine add lurry discard lurry lurry effect special summon out and then link off into requiem requiem effect tribute to go special bring out the engraver uh, then we have requiem effect to equip never mind we're not gonna do that we're gonna go discard edge special out nightmare apprentice they get to draw one small charmy uh, then they're going to go Edge Imp 1, yeah, that 2, well, Edge Imp 2, but we drew Ash Blossom there, which sucks. Uh, they search Patchwork plus Cornfield. I uh, wonder how many Poly they play. Requiem Effect to equip, and then go ahead and make Necro Equip Princess. Cornfield Effect. feel like we should have just made this first. Yeah, I feel like we probably should have made that first. I guess maybe things change uh, if we were going to go for a sequence line. But I was going to say, if we got hit with, like, Baylor or something, we could have got a draw off this. Um, but now we're going to go cornfield. I guess it's like fine, right? Because I was going to say, I guess we just forced the draw anyways now. Yeah, so it's definitely more proper to do it how they did it. And then Necro Equip, draw onto the Diabells. Sure, activate Polly. Use Necro Equip plus Diabells. Go up in the Magnum the Reliever. Magnum the Reliever. Put back Polly. Draw one. Draw on the cornfield. Now we can patchwork because we only play one Polly. 
So grab out poly, grab out edge imp chain. Uh, now we're going to link off into sequence because Magnum the Reliever is a Light Fiend effect. Put back Requiem, Lurry, bring out Aerial Eater, Aerial Eater to go dump the Evil Hero. Evil Hero uh, will not be used there. Okay, we're going to go Engraver, put back Special Summon out. Oh, okay, we're going to overlay those for the DDD. Yeah, okay, okay. Evil Hero, Banish, go Summon, bring out the Adusted Gold. This is like, this is wild lines, not normal. Make Cross Sheep now. Yeah, sure. Uh, then activate Poly, use Sword Knight plus the Diabolical, bring out Burfoma, and then Cross Sheep 1, Burfoma 2, and then Diabolical Effect, add back the Adusted Gold. Uh, then we're going to dump the Engraver, Special Sword Knight off Cross Sheep, and then link off into a Silhouette Rabbit. Use that effect to go set Angel Statue, which I think Silhouette Rabbit is a lot better in this deck than it is in other decks because if you have this, they have to set their back row first and then you can actually pop the back row and get like infinite value. And then, you know, now if you hand rip, you summon this, this card pretty much hand rips. Silhouette Rabbit will pretty much hand rip. So you're practically just hand ripping for three uh, with the end board. So like, that's just insane. Uh, they're going to Ash the Sword Knight there. And then activate the Adusted Gold discard. Go search out Dark Fusion. Uh, which also I didn't know I had this part on it. Until everyone was commenting it. That your opponent cannot target it with card effects this turn. Didn't know that. Uh, so it's good to know. Uh, go ahead. Fuse off. Bring out a, another Burfoment. And then just pass turn. Uh, they draw into Bonfire. So summoning the Burfoment there. So that way they have their Sword Knight and Cornfield live. That is good. Sadly, we couldn't set up a king, though. Not being able to set up king is, like, really tough. Like, that was a really good Ash Blossom. They draw another Bonfire. Wow, two Bonfire, two Ash Blossom. They're going to go Engraver, discard, go search out track, and then activate track, add Lurry, discard Lurry, Lurry effect, special itself out. They said, sure, okay. And then we can go ahead and turn that into Requiem, and then Requiem effect, tribute to go special, which... Technically, they could just let this go because they have an MST, so they can MST Requiem. Uh, so they can't send. So yeah, they're going to go ahead, let that go, bring out the Engraver, and then they're going to go activate Wanted, grab out Diabell Star. Sure. Uh, then they said, thinking here now, we're going to go flip Angel Statue so that way we can beat Diabell Star. But now they just go, oh, but I guess they already have Cornfield, which beats that. Okay, so they can't do that in the first place. Never mind. The Requiem is just going to be used as a free send. Activate Bonfire, go search out Poplar, and then no effect of Poplar. Okay, uh, normal summon Poplar. Yeah, it doesn't want it to get hit with DDD. Uh, then Poplar effect to go search. They're going to change Sword Knight to negate that. And then we're going to go Requiem effect to equip. Battle phase, beat over Angel Statue. Angel Statue to destroy the Engraver. And then we're going to go Special Black Witch, discard Bonfire. Black Witch effect, go set the original. And then link off into Anima, Poplar effect, spell Trap Zone itself, and then link off into the SP. SP effect, go banish DDD. If they chain Cornfield, we just chain SP to banish DDD again. Uh, so chain Cornfield and then chain SP again. But I mean, you should do this because it's going to take a link 2 off their field uh, that they could have used to keep extending with. Original, send, bring out Oak. And then also, like, you're going to get this back now during the end phase 2. Uh, so bring out Oak, Oak effect. Bring out Poplar. That's fine. Uh, they said thinking. Wait, do they have something? Uh, oh, I guess they have Burfoment, right? Banish to special. So I guess they can summon, like, Sword Knight. Doesn't, like, do a whole lot. Um, just gets you, like, follow up. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not like... I feel like this isn't the time to do it. Uh, so now, they're thinking about what they want to do next. Because, I mean, they have been through a lot. Uh, they're going to go Oak. Uh, they could have wanted Drew first also, but nope, goes Oak Effects and itself plus Poplar. Bring out the Flame Birds. They still have Engraver Graveyard Effect to summon itself out. Uh, so they said it's fine. And then Flame Birds Effect, Spell Trap Zone, the Burfoment. And then activate Engraver, Shuffle Back Lurry, Special Out Engraver. Okay, use those, go in the sequence. And then Flame Birds Effect, summon out the Poplar and Oak. And then sequence effect to shuffle back the engraver, engraver, requiem, special out Desiree. Okay, that's fine. Uh, well, actually, no, it's not fine because they're going to perform it here before they could potentially set up the Desiree negate. 
Go for Sword Knight. Sword Knight effect. You hit with Ash Blossom again. Want to put back, draw into Nib, and then link off into Promethean. Promethean effect, summon Flame Burge. Uh, link off into Raging Phoenix. Link off into World Sea. World Sea effect, banish special back. Promethean go pop, special out. And then Raging Phoenix summon itself out. Uh, we have, okay, I was going to say sequence effect to equip, but they're going to go Nightmare Phoenix. Sequence effect to equip the Desiree. And then end phase, bring back SP. Oh, I guess, like, we wouldn't have Silhouette Rabbit in deck right now. So, yeah, I was going to say, because we could have went for that, but we're not going to have Statue in our deck going second. So, that's not real. Uh, and then this is also just, like, nice. Uh, so, they get to bring back DDD, sure, but they can't battle phase to out anything. They draw Patchwork. So, they only play one poly. Uh, so, that should just not be live. I assume they only play one poly by how they played it. Uh, Aerial Eater, Banish. Summon itself out, yeah. Uh, then they're thinking on summon because we have Promethean, but like we really don't want a Promethean because we have Nib, but like also we really don't want a Nib because we don't have any other follow up, we don't even have Engraver there, uh, for us. So we will Promethean the DDD Nightmare Phoenix special summon out, and then activate their graveyard effect of uh, the diabolical then they're gonna go sp banish the promethean plus aerial eater okay now this ends up being really good because yeah actually we probably had to do it like this because we need the follow-up that sp gives us and we need it to be promethean so that's pretty good uh now they're gonna go effect yeah, bring itself out. Sure, that's fine. Uh, activate engraver, shuffle back gold, summon itself out. And then from here, they're going to go sequence effect to equip, engraver effect to send world C. That's fine. Uh, and then, okay, yeah, they just submit the feat. Uh, also, something I want to bring up, it didn't come up here, but something that's been coming up a lot that I don't see people do enough is if you go like equip sequence or requiem to Lurry, you can then send Lurry to bring out Necro Equip. I think it's pretty good to know that you can turn your level one into a level six. I feel like, you know, that does come up, but okay. Next account is Coat Duffy. Uh, we'll go ahead and watch that. Yeah. So we will see Coat Duffy when the rock, paper, scissors shoot. Uh, they'll go first, 40 versus 41. We have Ash Blossom, Wanted, Talents, Lurry, Original. They have Black Witch, Pressured Planet, Original, Droplet, Engraver. So activate Pressured Planet, grab out Unicorn. We said okay. Uh, so now if we Ash Blossom at any point, we do lose stuff from our extra deck. They're going to go Unicorn on the Birth, activate Birth, Normal Black Witch, Black Witch, go set Wanted. And then we're going to go Original, Sun Pressured Planet, Ash Blossom, Unicorn, Rip the Requiem, which is like... It's an insane hit, uh, making them lose that. Go into Moon, and then link off Moon into Requiem, and then Requiem effect, Tribute, go bring out the Engraver. Okay, uh, Requiem effect to equip, and then go with a Necro equip, and then we have Engraver effect to discard, grab Track, and then we have Necro equip effect to draw one, draw into Black Witch, which is not what they needed there. Uh, cause they already went through Black Witch. Engraver, Shuffle Back, Requiem, Special Summon itself out. Overlay for DDD, and then Activate Tract, Add Lurry, and then Discard Lurry, Lurry Effect, Special Summon itself out, and then Special Black Witch by Sending Wanted. Because last time we had Normal Summon this, and you can only Special Summon it once per turn this way. So I guess it doesn't do nothing, right? It's a body, and it puts Wanted in Grave, so we can Wanted right away. So, wanted put back, draw on the oak. We already normaled. Uh, then use those to make sequence. Sequence effect. Shuffle back the Lurry, Moon, Engraver, summon Desiree. Uh, then we're going to go Birth, summon back out Kashtira Unicorn. Link off in the Silhouette Rabbit. Effect goes set statue. Sequence effect to equip. Set droplet, pass. And then they draw into Poplar. Okay, I mean, that's a pretty solid end board. You know, DDD. Desiree, Angel Statue, Droplet. Um, so they're going to go Normal Poplar. Poplar Effect, grab out the Divine Temple. Activate Wanted, grab out Black Witch. Okay. Uh, then what? They're going to go Flip Angel Statue, so that way they can beat Black Witch. Yup. Uh, that doesn't count for talents. Like, not like this 
like flipping it as a trap doesn't count as talents. If you use the effect to negate, it will. Um, but now they're gonna go Divine Temple, play Snake at Eye Ball Star. Snake at Eye Ball Star, special spell Trap Zone Ash Blossom. And then they said anything there? Nope. Okay, so special Black Witch, send Lurry. And then they're just gonna negate the summon. Okay, uh, Battle Phase, Snake at Eye Bell Star, Attack Desiree. And then Snake at Eye Bell Star, try to spell Trap Zone both of them. They're gonna go Droplet, send Birth. Uh, to go ahead and, you know, half that and then negate it. So that's going to go to Grave. Uh, main Phase 2, Original, Send Ash Blossom. Sure. Wanted, put back, draw on the cross out. Activate Talents to take. They just Desiree negate it. Yeah, and then that is just game. So on to the next game now. We'll go ahead and we will see Erin Piggy go first. Uh, we have Black Witch, Cross Out, Anti Spell, TC Boo, Ash Blossom. They have Change of Heart, Talents, Original, Mulcharmy, Bonfire. Okay, so this game's already over. Uh, this hand actually just FTKs them. We have Ash Blossom, Anti Spell, Engine, and their whole hand just loses to that. So, Summon Black Witch by sending. They said, Wait in the standby, I want a Mulcharmy, which is fair enough. It's not like they were trying to do it to cheese. They were trying to summon Black Witch in draw phase there, and like this is always getting dropped in standby, anyways. So, they're going to Ash Blossom that, discard TC Boo special effect set original original send go special bring out snake eye ash snake eye ash effect go search grab out poplar and then poplar special summon out sure poplar effect go search so this is just the one black witch combo uh poplar into divine temple divine temple play snake eye eyeball star snake eye ash effect send bring out oak oak effect special back out from the graveyard link in the moon uh poplar effect spell trap zone the snake eye eyeball star moon into requiem requiem effect tribute bring out the engraver snake eye eyeball star special spell trap zone snake eye ash oak sun itself plus snake eye ash bring out flame burge engraver plus snake eye eyeball star make sequence sequence effect shuffle back and then summon out the good old desiree that's fine uh flame burge plus sequence in the promethean flame burge effect special back out the oak and the ash and then sequence effect to equip Promethean special out flame burge desiree negate and then make ip mascarena and then go ahead and make silhouette rabbit silhouette rabbit effects set angel statue uh flame burge spell trabazone ip set cross out set anti spell pass so that was the one black witch combo or the one snake eye ash combo uh you know i mean we've seen it like five times in this iron man now uh pass the draw wanted flip anti-spell onto the next one so we'll go ahead and we will see coat duffy go first we have ash blossom valor oak talents nib uh okay so we kind of need nib to work right now so we have oak and something the sun uh they have track the unicorn poplar engraver lurry and also nib is like really good against the snake eye duck like really really good like as you've seen in like all these replays they are just putting zero respect on that card at all they're just like if you got it you got it uh if i don't draw a cross out yep game's yours uh they're gonna go unicorn search original unicorn of i mean not unicorn search original special unicorn normal popular popular search original then unicorn to search birth uh, doesn't do unicorn first to play around droll and then activate track add the engraver discard the lurry lurry effect the special summon itself out uh turn lurry in the requiem requiem effect tribute to go special bring out engraver so they do play three uh requiem effect to equip and then go in the necro equip engraver shuffle back special summon out so this is you know trying to you know be the ddd um but you just say like sure because we have valor so you can just let this go yeah and then now they're gonna go ahead and make ip and then poplar effect spell trap zone activate birth birth summon out cash to a unicorn original send poplar bring out oak oak effect special back out from the graveyard bring out the poplar on res activate nib chain ddd chain valor uh go ahead tribute the field pass over the token and yeah it's tough we know they have one engraver in hand because they added it off track and then the other card is a blank which we will assume is a non-engine card at this point uh then pass draw another talent so normal summon oak and then link off into hita Hita effect, and if we do get hit with Valor, we just Talents take game. So, Hita effect, go take, and then, yeah, they just say GG's. Um, I was going to say, I guess, like, Nib, that's the card you have to be most afraid of. Like, that's the card I would try to play around the most there. 
Um, but yeah, they're going to go ahead and just say GG's, GG's. So, yeah, and they had the talent. So if it was any low-impact hand trap, they instantly just cook it. Um, I guess, like, Abyss Steel maybe they could have. But, yeah, that's just game. Uh, wow, so we just saw a full sweep by Snake Eye there. And this is the first round that we've seen Team J and C. We don't even know all the decks that they're playing. That's another thing, too, is if you win 3-0 like this, then we only know what Aaron Piggy's playing. We don't know the other two decks on the team. And they got the skip round one because they got the bye because they won the tournament the last time. So it's like, like that's such an advantage. We're going in the round three, and they only know one deck that they're playing. Like, that's ridiculous. No other team is like that right now. So... Uh, this team definitely has the biggest advantage and they're still in the winner's side. Uh, now the team, the vault is going on to the loser's bracket. Uh, but I believe in them. I believe in them. Uh, I think, I think, uh, I mean, I don't know Coat Duffy to be honest, but I know Lundridity is a fairly solid player. So I, I think, I think they could end up doing it for sure. End up at least making it through the loser's, uh, bracket. But with all that being said, uh, the DB Grinder, signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.